Right, today I've been doing the uh, combustion chambers for the Cat 951. Um, these are the little soft joints which go onto the combustion chamber as it screws into the cylinder head. And that's the O-ring which goes around there. That uh, keeps the water, so we've got water from there to there. And uh, I've got three, one was missing on the machine when I, when I got it, so refurbished uh, the three of them now. They're waiting new all rings and joints. The cylinder head actually cleaned up quite well. I thought it was going to be pretty bad, but uh, I cleaned up. This is where the combustion chambers go in. I'll show you now. Um, the way they fit it, it's a little dust in there. The way they fit it is a, uh, it's like serrated uh, socket, and they actually go into the head, and they screwed in, screwed into the cylinder head like that. Then the injector, then the nozzle goes in there. And then your pipes go to your fuel injection pump. But uh, these were removed, all inside there was full of rust. Um, it was pretty uh, pretty bad really. It looked a lot worse than it uh, was. So it's, the head's actually cleaned up. So the valve's going to come out, uh, give the decoke, check any fractures. See if you look inside there. That's, that's where the combustion chamber screws into with that soft joint on that face there. So um, basically it's uh, overhaul of the head. It's got one cold plug missing, inch and a quarter cold plug, uh, which is on order. Um, weather hasn't been too good lately, so I'm waiting for the uh, weather to improve so I can give this a good inspection, decoke and overhaul the head. Uh, so that is it for now. Uh, as you can see, it's in pretty good condition. But uh, the oil rings were in good condition. I, 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 not, I, I think this, the engine on this machine, or the machine itself, Hasn't done that many hours since uh, BR service, because they're only used on weekends, basically. So um, I reckon she's a lower oil machine. So uh, they just be at the final cleanup now. These had to be prized off because there were carbon surrounding them, and they were, they've been there for a while, you know. So basically, um, that's it for now. I hope to get back up on the engine this week to remove the pistons and liners but uh, I'm waiting for some sockets to do uh, that job so that's it for now <laughs>